Hello Sweet Breezer. So if you know me, I'm a big fan of putting two parts on one staff. So much so that one of the first videos I put out explained exactly how I fit two parts on a single staff and then break them out into their own separate parts for the players to read. However, there's just one part of that that can be kind of tedious and I want to make that incredibly fast and incredibly simple for you today. And so we're going to start off by just looking at what the problem is. One of the things you have to do if you have multiple parts on the same staff is to have expressions in the score telling the conductor who is playing what part. Like, oh, this is second playing this part. This is first playing this part. This is both parts playing this part, right? And if you go to the parts, you'll notice that it's also in there. Now these need to be in the parts if you don't separate them out into individual parts. But when you separate them out into individual parts, of course the second player is going to know to, when to play because it's on their part. So normally you'd have to go through and manually hide every single one like that, which can get tedious. And that's what I used to do. But then, then I learned this trick, which I'm going to tell you. So let's go back to the score. The first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to move all these expressions into their own category. So I'm going to go to my expressions. Currently, they're all in technique text. So I'm going to edit categories, duplicate technique text, and I'm going to call this score only because these are the expressions that are only going to be in the score. And I can use the same technique to say part only expressions. I haven't found a use for that, but it will still work. So name it, hit OK, hit OK, and we're going to come over here to technique text, highlight all these, hit move to score only. Yes, there's a couple more right here. Move to score only. Yes. And then because I have to assign something for some reason, there we go. And I'm just going to delete that. So now they're all in their own category. Next, we're going to come up here to JW change. This is a JW plugin, which I have a link for it in the description below. If you don't know how to get started with JW plugins, I also have a video that I made on that, which I'll link to in the description. So once you have it open, we're going to come over here to expressions, visibility, and we want the score slash parts visibility to be show in current, hide otherwise. So for currently looking at the score, it'll show in only the score, hide everywhere else. Alternatively, you could hit hide in the current and show everywhere else. So this is like if you want it to only show in the parts, but we want it to only show in the score. So we're going to do this categories score only. This tells us that we're only hiding the expressions from our score only category. The last thing we have to do is just highlight everything and then hit apply. Once you do that, close out of here and you can see that these expressions are now yellow, like they're unlinked between the score and the parts. And if we go back to the part, they now look hidden and that's exactly what we want. So that is all you have to do to do this. Once you get the expressions category worked out, I would go back and add this to your document style so that we never have to worry about ever again. If you don't know how to do that, I'll link a video to that in the description as well. And the last thing is if you know you're going to do this to pretty much every single score, like if you mainly work on larger scores, even just a lot of scores in general, I would add the step of using a JW Change plugin and add that to a keyboard maestro macro, especially if you have one already designated for setting up the score in parts. That way you don't even have to worry about doing this ever again. It just happens when you hit the macro. It all works out great. If you don't know how to do that, I will link a video to how to get started with Keyboard Meister and Finale in the description as well. So that's it for today. If you found this helpful, make sure to like this video. Each week I post a new video about using Finale to its fullest. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so that we get notified each time I post a video. Lastly, if you have any questions about this or have any topics you want to see in the future, make sure to comment down below. I will read every single comment. And believe me, if there's something you want discussed and I know how to do it, I will make a video out of it.